Helen uh, Keller. Helen Keller. 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 That, that blind <laughs> chick. <laughs> that blind <laughs> chick. Books. What's that blind <laughs> chick? <laughs> You guys steal a semi truck worth two hundred and eighty thousand dollars. I've always wanted just to the truck. Wow. Yeah, the truck itself is like six figures, like that. Very expensive. Not yeah. attached to a trailer. Just yeah. two hundred eighty grand. Right? Some of them wow. got bunk beds in the back. Isn't that yeah, cool? that's sweet. What you you could sleep in it. And this guy doesn't even have a generator. What do you do? What do you do if it's reported missing and you want to get away from the cops? And you want to get away from the? Cops? Yeah, you want to keep it away. Oh, because oh, you stole it. Gotcha. Oh, I, see. I know. I see. You hire. One of those sidewalk chalk uh, painters, right? You know, they can make you look like, whoa, it's the top of a building, but it's only just like Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> oh. But you all have to look at it from yeah. one angle. Yeah. Yeah. That's oh, highly yeah. elaborate. You paint the semi truck into like a, a brick building. Oh, that is really good. goddamn good. <laughs> paint it into a Winchell's. Paint Criminal mind. <laughs> Criminal mind. Oh, wait, but the cops are gonna go. Ah, yeah. fuck. You paint it into. Yeah, no, like not Winchell's. Yeah, yeah, you paint it like a bush. <laughs> okay, yeah. Couple Winchell's couple still exist? <laughs> Yeah, Hell like, yeah, baby. <laughs> Damn, I love Winchell's. They got hot sandwiches now. Oh. Dude, Winchell's is kind of fire, bro. You don't like No, I love Winchell's. That was my favorite one. Well, until the Cambodians came and destroyed it. You gotta go at 3 a.m. That's when Cambodian I donuts are good, though. They're so fucking good. They, 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 they like, mastered it. Rightfully they took it over. It. There's documentaries about Cambodians and donuts, dude. Yep, my I friends would, and... I would park it at the runaway Rocky truck road. ramp. Like, right mm. on the... Where the dirt's really high. That's really good. You can't see over it. Yeah, and nobody goes and checks those things. They don't. Yeah. Does it got a low jacks? It does not have a low jack. Okay, yeah, so yeah. I'll I'll park it behind some trees and I'll leave it there yeah, until yeah. the cops get busy with other things. Close. A That's hiker always saying. finds it though in those situations. Really? No. So the guy. <laughs> the, 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 we are we already done being creative about it. Go for it. Go for he it. Wants you a got turn. One? Come on. No, it's cool. Do what do would it. you do? do what would you do? Yeah, what would you do? I was I was just wondering how long it would take to like. Repaint the whole thing, but I was like, damn, that'll take me like a month. That is a really stupid idea. <laughs> you watch too much, you play too much GTA. <laughs> if he's silent listening to you talk, you know what's coming. <laughs> he was gonna paint it into a Winchell's and a bush. <laughs> well, he gave me compliments. He gave compliments. <laughs> you came up with a Grand Theft Auto idea that they already did for fucking <laughs> year. spray, dude. Dude, first of all, I was just taking the prompt seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to know what I was gonna do with this you truck. Turn into Optimus Prime. Actually, unfortunately, Anthony was right. That is exactly what happened. What do you do? Repaint the whole thing? Dude, he fucking paid and sprayed it. Paid and sprayed. This thing was this thing was pink, and he painted it orange. That's too close of a color. Pink is the new orange. He should have made it black or something. No, he he decided to. He's like. They won't know if I if How I. How good of a job did he do? It. Wow, he did a pretty good job. That's kind of smart, actually. Like it looks. I mean, it, part of it's still pink. Oh, they didn't do it that good of a job. God damn it! Why would you, you get an orange? orange truck? I mean, at the end of the day, you're not going to be looking for an orange truck. But you can see the pink, right? Mm -hmm. But that's the thing. If you see pink, you're like, wait a minute. Yeah, it's like there's still remnants of. Yeah, he didn't. He, Plus, it's not every day you paint. see a pink Peterbilt. Yeah. That's oh. true. The heck. So Is that what it's called? That's yeah, one of the yeah, brands. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. This thing's worth 280 grand, right? Um, he decided to paint it. Um, and he stole it? And parked it by a hotel in the back corner of a parking lot. Mm -hmm. Oh. And then um, people thought that like a guy out in broad daylight spray painting a semi truck in the parking lot of a hotel was kind of a suspicious <laughs> thing, and so they called the cops on him. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, isn't it funny just, how like yeah, every straight. day you'll be driving on the roads and there'll be like a Lambo or something nice that's like eighty, a hundred thousand dollars, but these things are everywhere and Dude, they're like yeah. twice, three times the amount of money. Dude, I don't even know. But we're not impressed. We're just like, eh, mm. you can't fit it in a garage. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the idea that like if you look at things of monetary value, I like, wish okay. criminals alley ooped yeah. themselves better. Like, you probably got a homie that has a paint shop, right? Before you steal it, schedule it with them. Hey, I'm gonna be bringing in a semi truck tomorrow. Clear your schedule, because I need th I need that thing painted in like four hours. I don't trust criminals to be on time. And then that way you just bring it in, bam, painted, you'll come out, you know, versus spraying in the back of a hotel. It is we a weird place to spray paint something. Like, if I was to spray yeah, the paint hotel? something, I'll go to a gas station. And then maybe people are like, okay, maybe he's working on his car in some way. Or go to the yeah. truck wash or like the yeah. race station or something. But what do you think is this guy's intention? Is he gonna like paint it and sell it? Yeah. I feel like this guy just stole it and was like, all right, what's next? Oh, shit. <laughs> you know, like, because yeah. maybe he's gonna steal cargo. Oh, yeah. So he could pull crazy. up to the yeah. he could pull up to the fucking port and go, I'm here to do some truck. Load it up, Lou. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you're like, wait, what? Who are you picking? Picking up one of those containers, and he just drives off with it, and then he just opens it and goes, "Oh, 
I got a lot of baby carts today. Dude, you know what's crazy? That reminds me of a story that my uncle told me about in the 80s. My uncle had like a van like mine where it looked like a crazy- Like an A-team van? Yeah, like an A-team rocker van. And he went to pick up my mom at the airport and he got in line with all these other vans that were waiting because that was like the van to drive back then. And then uh, he didn't realize that um, this like rock concert was in town and a bunch of artists were arriving and those vans that he was in line with were the vans to take artists to the oh, venue. Wow. And then he got stuck in there and then they try to get in. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like White Snake or some kind of oh, really sick. popular band just got in his van and they were yeah. like, "All right, we got to go. We got to go." And so he was like, "All right." And didn't pick up my mom <laughs> and he took them to the concert. That's so funny. And then, and then they liked him so much they hired him to like transport for the rest of the concert season. <laughs> and your mom's at the airport like, "What the fuck? You fucking always late, you son of a bitch." You got a job. Had the opportunity of a lifetime. <laughs> It was just by chance. You're like, not going to believe I'm the yeah, I, I, I don't know if it was White Snake, it was somebody. Like, like somebody, poison? Yeah. yeah, Poison or something. That's, That's poison. fucking cool. Yeah, it was like some so popular great. band, but he was just like, uh, okay, all right. Oh, what a oh. cool fucking story. Yeah, then my mom was just like, where is he? Yeah. <laughs> she's at the- Kind of worth and, it though. Yeah. Like, she's she's probably on the payphone too. Yeah. <laughs> Did he leave yet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, shit was so difficult back then. If you weren't on fucking time, people start panicking. Don't be like, well. Fuck and this guy's like, dead. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It just reminds me of like if you're just in a place and you just act like that's where you're meant to be, people yeah. don't really know. Like they just no. they just keep going. Yeah. That's crazy. Um so these these when they were caught, by the way, they were still in the process of spray painting and they were del they were carefully taping it off. <laughs> like doing a pretty good job actually. That's cool. So that's why you, I respect that's that. why you still see pink is because oh, they were They're not done. They're even finished. I see. Uh, they're like, I we didn't get to that. finish that yeah. part. And they they had a GPS, um, but it was disabled and chucked it in the woods. So ne nearby oh. though. So they kinda knew it. Oh, 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 still nearby. <laughs> well, this this guy this guy has to kinda know a lot about trucks because you those are not normal to drive. Like okay. you or me you or me yeah. if you got in it, we would go with We would know how to drive. What is those? Yeah. Some of them have printers in the dash, you know that? And it prints out like weather reports and stuff. Oh and damn, yeah. that's tight. I used to read books about weird shit as a kid. So I knew a lot about semi trucks. So I them. <laughs> Dude, you're a truck guy. Are they stick? You explained you, why you knew that. But it's a right bunch out. of different shit, huh? They're st I think they're like twin so turbo V6. Of of <laughs> Damn it. Diesel. Yeah. Preemptive. Dude, yeah. that's the funny thing you just did. What? In the same breath, you justified why you knew something. <laughs> Like you went, yeah, they used to have printers. I used to read a lot of weird shit as a kid. That's why I know that. <laughs> yeah, so don't make fun of me. <laughs> That's what you need to do. Well, I, also, I also get got, him. I also got sent to timeout a lot. You know, like they go, go to the back of the class. And in the back of the class, they have all those books. So, so, it so worked, you start dude. reading these fucking books and shit. So I know about fucking like, what's that blind chick? Helen uh, Keller. Helen Keller? Keller. Like, that, blind that blind chick. That blind chick. Books. What's that blind chick? Yeah, like you just start reading shit like that, you know? What'd you learn about Helen Keller? Yeah. I forgot. A lot of good oh, jokes? No, she's blind and deaf, right? Yeah. yeah. I was like, that's a hard life. Yeah. That's well, what that you learned. That was every bit about her. And then, <laughs> and then, like and I learned about the fat baseball player, Yogi Bear. Babe Ruth. Oh. oh, yeah, Babe Ruth. <laughs> I read a lot about these things. It's this is what like I should do, huh? <laughs> yeah. That's your, that's a, that's the antidote. It counters him. Yeah. Counters me. You guys all fucking clown on Anthony, too, you fucking scumbag. Not me. <laughs> I never make fun of Anthony. This, it's I like, try to support him, and he turns his back on me. This is why I don't go to your jiu-jitsu squad, because you're a bitch. When, turn you when back on him? When Anthony yeah. fumbles the ball, we're all, everyone dives on it. <laughs> <laughs> Not just me. <laughs> fumbles the ball? It's your fault, dude, because you say something really funny that we all have to laugh at, okay? No, no. I've never seen Anthony fumble any ball. Oh, he fucking dropping them all over out. the field, dude. Nice. No, he's he's, a, he's a killer. <laughs> the idea of saying some of this is justifying. Like, don't make fun of me, all right? I know that because of this. I was a weird kid. <laughs> you know, right after, right after college, when we were like um, going through like a hard ass like eco economic downturn, like I couldn't find a job or anything like that, right? One of the things I was thinking about doing was be a truck driver. Dude, that's a great decision, actually. My dad was a truck driver. Because it was like, oh, really? Yeah. Like, 
for like I thought that for the sound. I thought he drove an audio truck. <laughs> no, after a while, he kind of was like, he couldn't get work, so then he just started truck driving. How the heck does a guy like that not be able to get work? He did every legendary film in a dude. row. I don't know. You got to ask him, bro. Holy shit. We want to. Maybe he was a jerk. Bring your yeah, dad, dude. Maybe, <laughs> maybe he was a jerk. Maybe he was difficult to work with. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> so, some people might say, I don't know. Margaret. <laughs> Do you think he's sitting there and a, some new director's telling him some shit? And he's like, yeah, I think I'll be okay. I did Indiana Jones. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Low key. I wouldn't put it past him. I wouldn't put it past him. I think my dad's a fucking like rookie that. ass. Right? But I bet at the same time, I bet he was fucking paying the ass. Cause sometimes he's just like an old Taiwanese dad, and I'm like, dude, shut That's your so ass up. That's so funny to right? say that. Yeah. I did Indiana Jones. Wouldn't you? Um, I did Raiders. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, this is gonna be way harder than that Spielberg film I did every year for the past decade. Yeah. Um, oh, I, sorry, I did Tron. Thanks, though. Yeah. <laughs> he's always like on the. <laughs>